I've been noticing that there are a lot of YouTube videos that are almost bashing people who are choosing to be in interracial relationships and I think that it's kind of dumb to do that. Hey guys, it's Nashi. Welcome to my channel. So today I decided to do a video that's about what I think are the pros and cons of being in an interracial relationship and maybe it should be the pros and cons of being married to a white guy because that's my current situation um, and I also want to make sure that I don't speak for my husband because obviously he might have his own pros and cons list right this is purely from my perspective to start the video I'm Zimbabwean born I grew up mostly in Kenya and then I moved to Canada when I was 15 um, so that kind of hopefully gives you a sense of what my cultural identity might be and then with my husband he was pretty much the complete opposite like he grew up where his grandparents grew up and his great-grandparents grew up like his um, he's from he was born in Canada and his ancestry line is from is British and so um, everyone in his family had that sort of specific path and the place where we live actually is not too far off from the house that my husband grew up in or the neighborhood that my husband grew up in so that's just how local his experience is um, so I think that also speaks to not just the interracial piece but the cultural piece because I think they can be two different things so that's the context so in terms of the pros and cons I think I'll start with the cons just because they're more I don't know gloomy the first obvious thing is the social disapproval if that happens so I think with us we've not experienced any blatant racist type comments from any of our friends or our family um, but I feel for myself I feel like there are certain things that I consider I guess what some might call microaggressions or sometimes people say things that aren't necessarily maybe intended to be racist but they still feel or land racist if that makes sense i'm not going to get into specifics about that obviously but i think overall sometimes when you're in an interracial marriage or a relationship what happens is that it's not just about the two of you sometimes it's like your friends and family obviously are a part of your lives and what that means is that they in theory are also in that relationship with you so you might know your partner's perspectives on different race and culture and da, da da and that sort of thing and you too might be fine but then the expectation that your friends and family automatically think the same way that you do or the same way that your partner does is is just an assumption it's just that so because of that sometimes comments might be made that may be hurtful and it's really difficult to address some of these things especially in a world where the minute you try to have those types of conversations obviously nobody wants to be labeled racist and so therefore you never have those conversations you just kind of sweep them under the rug sometimes right um, but the feeling is there sometimes when you feel away and you can't really call people out in the context of these are your friends and your family so you have to find other ways of being tactful unless of course it's super blatant and then at that point I guess you do what you've got to do in our relationship I've noticed that um, our cultures have played a more significant role than our races have if that makes sense so I put this in a negative category even though there's a positive aspect to it but uh, with culture when there's certain things that because of my lens I don't know I feel like I expect that hey everyone knows that I don't know family is everything like so to me with my cultural perspective like my family is, the, is super super important and if my my mom my brothers whatever if something happens I'm there with them and I'm there for them and it's not even a question and it's just it's just automatic like come on I'd give my kidney up twice <laughs> I would have no kidneys if, if someone needed them in my family, that sort of thing. Whereas with my husband, his culture or view is more, I think it's more independent. Like, so his culture seems to be more um, about 
fostering independence and being independent whereas my culture is more about dependency like you know we talk to each other a lot we hang out a lot we are in each other's businesses a lot for better or worse and and that sort of thing and so that's an example of like a cultural difference that sometimes can actually affect our relationship because maybe for him he might be like hey why are we doing this why do we have to do this he doesn't do that by the way but yeah i can think of times where it's been like tension because of the fact that something that i feel is obvious for him is like mm, no it's not so many things you take for granted that obviously the person you're with automatically understands this automatically knows that this but it's not the case okay so the other thing is i think when you're in an interracial relationship most people have the assumption that oh you know uh when you're in an interracial relationship you somehow throw your culture in the garbage and your identity in the garbage and you just don't care now i'm not saying there are people who aren't like that but i think for the most part that's not the case i think the con of being in an interracial relationship is that you actually question your identity probably more often than you would if you were not in an interracial slash intercultural relationship because a lot of the things that you take for i don't know for standard or for granted or for like fact <laughs> you realize all of a sudden that no somebody else that you love that you care about does not look at the world in the same way does not experience the world in the same way so you start having to really you know question a lot of things about your experiences and then you sometimes have self-doubt like oh am i just seeing things or am i not there's a lot of that because you don't realize how being around people who are similar to you 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 don't realize how little explaining or how much a lot of explaining doesn't need to happen in that environment versus like when you're with someone who's different a lot of the time is spent needing to explain things that you've never ha even thought about you know <laughs> but yeah it's it's interesting so this is again not just a race thing but a culture thing like a being with someone who's of a different culture than you are for sure you're going to spend a lot of time asking yourself so why do i wear a bonnet or so why do i i don't know wash my underwear in the shower <laughs> you know things like that like, so there's that and then the other more serious piece is sometimes it feels like i have to choose between my culture or my identity and his identity versus it just being neutral if that makes sense so an example is yeah so an example is so we live in canada we live in a predominantly white community now one could argue that yes we could have I should have thought about the diversity piece before we moved here but honestly I didn't even think about it like I didn't even think anything of it and actually when we got the house I didn't even know I was pregnant so I didn't even know that I was gonna have a, a little kid or something to be honest and so a lot of things I might do differently now if I was to do this again in terms of like the buying the house thing in a different neighborhood but um that is an example like our son is going to grow up in a predominantly white neighborhood that's almost feels to me like we've chosen my husband's side do you know what i mean even though it's not a competition in that way but it just feels like all the things that are normal my son is going to grow up with the same type of orientation or closer orientation to my husband unless i make sure that their points of interception not necessarily that it's a bad thing but it's just that it, it feels like in in making that decision to live in the community we live in i almost surrendered my my identity and my cultural needs yeah so sometimes there is that tension where it feels like you're giving up something and your partner is gaining something and it's like a win or loss type of uh feeling okay so i think i'll end the the cons list at that point in terms of the pros I think the biggest pro by far is the fact that you're exposed to different cultures. I don't think there's a better way of being exposed to somebody else's culture than to actually date them. Um, because it's such an intimate relationship and you, you, it's not like having friends because sometimes you can have friends of a different culture but sometimes there's certain lines you can't cross. But the minute you're married to someone or you're in a serious relationship with someone, you 
pretty much don't have any lines and the pro there is that you can ask ask me anything kind of thing like and without judgment or fear or any reservation and you can also do the same to your partner and then also just in terms of your day-to-day -day lives you start noticing the differences in your culture like oh wow that's how you guys do that huh interesting we do it like this kind of thing yeah like there's so many things that we do differently and there's also so many things we do the same but it's cool when you get to experience something that your husband or your wife or your partner or whatever it is um, exposed you to because of the fact that they're from a different culture than you are and yeah I can think of so many things with my husband some fun things are things like pumpkin pie like I had never and would have never considered to eat a pumpkin pie in my life so he has a family recipe from his grandma that we got um, and he's he's into making pumpkin pies uh, especially at Thanksgiving and Christmas actually only at Thanksgiving and only at Christmas even though I would love him to make some when it's not those days and yeah so I think there's so many little things uh, small things like that but then also really mind shifting or shaping things that you're exposed to that you wouldn't otherwise consider so yes yeah, so it's awesome the other thing is I think by being in a relationship with someone from a different culture than you you have such empathy and understanding for other types of people so while you're in that relationship and learning about the differences between you and them I think it seems like it's just between the two of you but it actually extends to the rest of the world and how you interact with the rest of the world so because you're together with this person from a different worldview than you um, and you're kind of forced to you know to learn and listen and you know understand the different ways that they are and think and act and stuff like that you notice that you will gain so much empathy for the rest of the world so this person that you're with I think the safe the safety in that relationship makes it so that you're able to really be vulnerable and for them to be vulnerable as well and then when you're at work or in the world with your friends you all of a sudden start seeing things that you never saw before the other thing obviously tied to the previous point is you learn to break down stereotypes that you might have about your partner's race culture so there's so many things that I think <laughs> they just exist in the world about oh people from this culture are this or people from this race are like this and sometimes there's some you know truth to some of the stories that are told out there but sometimes there isn't truth or any truth to some of these stories that we tell ourselves so being in an interracial relationship allows you to think about those stereotypes and notice to see if they exist in your partner's um, personality and such and when they don't you're like oh you mean not all white people are like this <laughs> yeah so um, I, I joke but seriously it's it's a reminder that honestly at the end of the day we're just people like we're just human all of us I just living this life and figuring things out and we just happen to be raised or born into a certain community and that community maybe shapes who we are but essentially we are the same people and so this idea that everyone is the same just because they're black or they're Zimbabwean or something it's sometimes just a farce not just sometimes it's usually kind of a farce especially in this globalized world we're not we're not the way we used to be like we're all mixing around and we're all eating similar foods and shopping from the same places we're all listening to the same music like that sort of thing and so that pretty much makes us the same for better or worse right it really does so I think being in an interracial relationship uh, forces you to to break out of stereotypes that you know you may have the last thing is I think being in an interracial relationship allows you to bring a different perspective um, and understanding of the world to the world and so I think you know like let's say right now with the backdrop of uh, the race conversations that have been happening more 
in the last couple of years i think that when you're in a interracial relationship it's never black or white like it's just always so nuanced because like it, it it prevents you from just drawing a line in the sand and just sticking at your side like it forces you to be more cooperative because i have a kid with this man so of course i i love and i love him so i think it causes you to not approach it with the same rigidity that you might if you had no stake or horse in the race if that makes sense and so so yeah, so it's interesting. I think it, it does bring a different perspective to the table that might not happen if, you, if you're just from one community, if that makes sense. So that's pretty much what I have for my pros and cons. And I would say that every single relationship is unique, regardless of race, inter-race, interculture, culture, whatever. I think two people, those two people are their own unit and regardless of their like you can have two people from the same culture who will be so oppositional about everything too so i think it's important to understand that difference will always exist in relationships but then it's it's really just how the two of you navigate it and how you communicate and how you your openness to to just hearing and learning and growing out of your current state if that makes sense um and 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 also you two just taking care of each other like i think interracial relationships intercultural relationships or any relationships only work if both people are looking out for the other i have to look out for my husband and he has to look out for me because if i'm the only one looking out for myself then it means it's not a relationship and it means it's just i don't know you're you're kind of oppositional and trying to prove a point all the time but when you are thinking about oh yeah I'm, I want to take care of him and he wants to take care of me like make sure that my heart is safe and his heart is safe like it changes how you approach things and I, I genuinely do that and I feel like he, my husband does that too uh, this is not to say that we've not had our intense conversations about culture and race and that sort of thing we have in fact we did a video kind of talking about it so we've had our share of conversation about difficult conversations like that but i think that ultimately we understand the love that we have for each other and that really trumps everything else i think so anyways so yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed that video because i've been noticing that i've been noticing that there are a lot of youtube videos that are almost bashing people who are choosing to be in interracial relationships and i think that it's kind of dumb to do that because at the end of the day we should all just prioritize love if you meet someone who happens to not look like you and you love them what's the problem go for it because at the end of the day honestly these these things don't actually matter as much as we give them so much credence and it's not to say like I, I get the sort of structural things that people sometimes go on about yeah I've had people tell me that oh yeah are there no more black men to be with da, da, da. is that why you end up going to a white guy and stuff but the truth is the truth is the black community I'm pretty sure is not noticing that I'm not there that's another video but it's not like all these black guys are like, oh my god, there's a shortage of black women because Tanashi went and dated and married this white man. No, the world goes on. There are a lot of black women who are available. If black men want to date them, they can date them, vice versa. And But if those women want to date somebody else of a different race, then that's also okay. I'm pretty sure that there will always be an abundance of people to date in the world. And so I, I just don't like the idea that we interracial couples get scapegoated for all of why love doesn't exist in some communities and that sort of thing. So I hope that if you're someone who has never considered to be with someone who's of a different race or culture than you are, then I hope that you reconsider after this video and if there's someone who's hitting you up in those DMs just slide back and say sure let's just have that date right because life is too short to not experience love and it doesn't matter where that love is coming from just just be open and trust yourself and enjoy your life <laughs> it's yours anyways I'll end this video now <laughs> 
thank you so much for watching. I know that this video was all over the place, but I just wanted to do a video about this topic. If you are in an interracial relationship yourself, I'd love to hear if you've had any uh, comments from people about your uh, romantic preferences or choices and that sort of thing. And if you're someone who has never been with someone outside your race, I'd also love to hear your why that has been the case if you'd like to share that. But anyway, I'll end this video now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!